Most modern websites use a content management system, also known as CMS, to create the web pages. Once author publishes content on the CMS, the operations team needs to purge any earlier versions of the content that have been cached on the Content Delivery Network, also known as CDN. This process happens several times a day, so you will gain operational efficiencies by automating this using the Fast Purge API. There are several ways to use the Fast Purge API. For this demo, we are going to use the Purge CLI package as it does not require us writing any code or preparing the runtime environment when using it with the Docker container. First of all, we need to ensure we have API credentials with permissions to use the Fast Purge API. If we check the help screen of the Purge CLI, I'm going to switch to my other screen where I have split the screen between the terminal and a web browser. For this demo, I'm using an origin server called jgarza.origin.sandbox.akamidevelopper.com we set up in Heroku that just returns the current time of the web server. The hostname delivered by Akamai is jgarza.sandbox.akamidevelopper.com, so without the origin, and as you can see, it resolves to the Akamai staging network. This is something that you don't want to do with a production server. The main reason I did it here is because activations in staging is much faster than production, and that's great for demos. And since my website doesn't have any real traffic, I'm fine with using a much smaller network with less Akamai servers. Let me now switch to the web browser. You can see this is the page and the origin. Let me zoom it in. jgarza.origin, as you can see. And if I click on the reload button, you can see the timestamp on the screen will update. So 22.47, let me reload again. 22.53, 54, 56, and so on. Now let me go to the Akamai. So I'm going to delete the part origin from the hostname and press enter. And you can see the time is 9.18.48. And if I reload the page, you can see that nothing happens. Let me try several more times. You can see the page loads very quickly, but the timestamp doesn't change, and that's because of caching. Let's switch to the terminal and see how easy it is to use the purge CLI to invalidate the content. We just need to type Akamai purge invalidate the network staging. And then we copy the URL from the browser to the terminal, press enter, and it takes around two seconds usually, you know, to purge the content. So you go up, I go back to the screen. You can see 1848, I'm going to refresh, and it changes to 2346, so the content was refreshed. So again, if we click reload again, it's not going to change because of course it's betting cash again, but I can go to the terminal, repeat the command, and if I reload the browser again, 2346, let me click the reload button, 2406. So you can see purging with the CLI is fast and easy. Akamai also offers additional ways to purge content. For example, by CP code, which allows you to purge, for example, the whole website and should be used with caution. And by cache tag which allows you to purge a group of objects that are tagged by origin with a single value. Let's see how we would purge by cache tags indicating a tag of fiction books. So let me remove the URL. I'm going to add minus minus tag fiction dash books and press enter. And in two or three seconds, the purge happens. 